Hey everybody, my name is Ty. Thank you for joining us here at Yoga in Our City's virtual studio sponsored by Connecticut. Today's class will be focused on meditation. You might have seen yoga and meditation separated. Maybe when it comes to the name of a studio or what they offer, or maybe it's a trendy challenge online. But according to the eight limbs of yoga, meditation is a huge part of the practice, not its own entity. So if all you did was meditate today, you also did yoga. The last three limbs, actually, you might even say four to include pratyahara or mindfulness are all about calming that mind chatter. As a society, we're always talking about becoming the healthiest version of ourselves and heavily rely on the physical body to get there. But think about how many conditions stem from the mind being stressed. That is how powerful our thoughts can be, that they can actually wreak havoc on the physical body. There's a saying that goes something like this. You should sit in meditation for 20 minutes a day. (laughs) Unless you're too busy, then you should sit for an hour. Today's meditation will be focused on bringing attention to our seven primary energy centers or chakras. Make yourself comfortable, whatever that means to you. You can do this meditation lying in bed, sitting in the car, out in nature, on a yoga mat, or even taking a shower. That is one of my favorite spots to meditate as I visualize the water resetting my energy. I lit some sage before I began as this practice has come down through my ancestors, but fun fact, when sage is burned, it releases negative ions into the air, which is linked to putting people in a positive mood. If you didn't know, the Spanish word for sage is salvia, which in Latin means heal. And that's what we're trying to do here, people. Heal. So as you get settled in, let's begin by taking three deep breaths. Make any movements you need to release tension, maybe unfurrowing the eyebrows, releasing any tension in the jaw, maybe removing the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Drop the shoulders, relax the hips all the way down to your toes. When you feel settled in, we'll begin with the Muladhara Chakra, the root energy center, located at the base of the spine, this being the very first thing to form inside of the womb. In your mind's eye, visualize a brownish red light. The colors of the roots of your favorite tree. Feel the lower limbs get heavy and connected to the earth. This center focuses on our survival and on our early childhood. Take a moment to check in and think about how you felt during those years. Were you safe? Were you supported? 
Do you have a favorite memory? If not, in what ways can you help yourself to feel grounded and stable? With each inhale, visualize those roots becoming deeper and grounded into the support of the earth. With each exhale, release what will not nourish that tree. Moving up to the Swadhisthana, the sacral chakra, located at the lower abdomen, about two inches below and in of the navel. This includes your reproductive organs, your kidneys, your hips. This center is said to be associated with creation which can mean literal, creating life, or giving birth to ideas, and also pleasure. The element here is water, flow, very connected to the root chakra. Those roots need water to flourish. Visualize an orange light almost what is viewed as the light at the end of the tunnel. Check in. Ask yourself, is the water element in the center helping you grow or destroying the crop? Are you addicted to pleasures or not giving yourself enough joys in life? How can you embrace your own creation to move easily and effortlessly through life? Inhale, acceptance. Exhale, judgment. Next, we'll go up to the Manipura Chakra, or Solar Plexus, located right in the center of the body, including the stomach, the digestion organs. The center is associated with action, fire, confidence, Begin to visualize a bright yellow light, like a flickering flame to add fuel to that fire. Those ideas you created in your sacral space. 
how will you make them come to life? Is there maybe too much action and not enough rest? Are you experiencing burnout? In what ways can you take action to heal the parts of you that need nourishment? As you inhale, breathe in confidence. As you exhale, let go of ego. Going up towards the Anahata, the heart energy center, or center of love, of abundance. The center includes our lungs, our arms, the extensions of our hearts. Here, visualize a bright green light like a beautiful, precious stone at the center of your chest. Can you show yourself unconditional love no matter what stage of life you're in? The same love and grace that you extend to those you most cherish, can you internalize it? If you'd like, extend the arms out and give yourself a big hug here. Nurture that inner child. Are you holding on to grief? Remember, grief is just love with nowhere to go. Where in your life can you show yourself more compassion? Inhale, peace. Exhale, heaviness. Moving up to the Vishuddha Chakra, the throat energy center, our center of communication. There's an element of nature here and it's ether or space. 
the essence of emptiness in which our true selves exist. Visualize our turquoise bluish light like the clearest ocean you can ever imagine. Can you speak life into all beings while still being authentically you? Is there space to let go of the negative talk? This center, which also includes our ears. Do you listen to comprehend or to reply? Think about a time where you spoke your truth and felt respected and heard. How did that make you feel? Here, I'd like you to inhale, courage, and exhale, fear. Coming up to the Ajna Chakra, the third eye, our center for our intuition, located right in between the eyebrows. It's also our center of imagination, of mental strength, of open-mindedness, clarity. Here you can visualize a beautiful and lightning violet color, bright as a starlit sky. Maybe ask yourself, how do you most often experience your intuition? Does it come in like a gut feeling, a voice in your head, maybe signs, synchronicities? Have you ever not followed your intuition and it turned out to be right? That intuition was right all along? As a child, was imagination encouraged? And what does your life look like according to your wildest dreams? Inhale, trust. Exhale, the need to be perfect.
on to our last primary center Sahasrara the crown the tip of the head and beyond to the tippity top of the forehead the soft spot it's her connection to the divine the higher power this oneness The center's all about connection, about empathy. What does your spiritual enlightenment look like to you? Are you struggling with understanding your soul's purpose? Was there ever a time the universe didn't answer your prayers, yet it worked out better for you? I'd like you to reflect on this. I am an energetic being in a human body. Energy is in everything around me. I am an energetic being in a human body. Energy is in everything around me. I am an energetic being in a human body. Energy is in everything around me. How would you like your highest self to show up in the world? Deep breath in, breathe in that lovely existence. Exhale, selfishness. I hope this break in your day has quieted the noise around you and you are able to hear your own voice and I hope it speaks beautiful things into you. May the highs and the lows of being human direct our path into a better future. May you show yourself some grace for making mistakes. It's all part of life. Thank you for being here. And remember, wherever you go, no matter the weather, bring your own sunshine. See you next time.